What's going on everyone? Um, been a while since I made a video and to update everyone, I was in the Dragon Ball, got out of Dragon Ball to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, did that for about three months and found out it just wasn't the game for me. Um, didn't have a whole lot of fun with it. The game just, Yu-Gi-Oh! just goes way too fast for, for me. Um, so, but around the same time that I got decided to just like get out of Yu-Gi-Oh um, I actually fractured my neck at work um, all done with the whole neck brace on I had one like this holding my neck up and so got that done um, was able to take that off about a, about a month ago now I'm um, still doing all my exercises with my physical therapy and all that but Every day is getting better. Um, just found out I should probably be able to get back to work. Um, probably not. It's. I know it's not going to be at 100%. And they already told me, like, for right now, I can go back to work. But it's, like, light-duty stuff. And, it, like, I can drive truck. I can go back doing my normal thing. But I can't lift more than 30 pounds. I can't go over my head. You know, have stuff over my head. Stuff like that. Just for precautionary stuff. Still got to do all my physical therapy, but, so, the last three weeks, um, well, actually, I got back into Dragon Ball, probably about, oh, maybe three months ago, or, I don't know if it's been that long or not, maybe been, like, one or two months, I don't know, um, I was playing green, I was trying to make green work good. Um, I had to go go tanks deck loved it the only thing for me was it's not the original go tanks that I remember playing so I kind of just said uh, the the engine in this deck is just too big it's it's a fun deck um, but I just wasn't like doing any I wasn't really winning with it so I just like kind of I, I still have it. It's still built. It's still together. If someone, you know, wanted to sit down and say, hey, you want to have a casual game? I'll pull that out. Um, out of the anniversary stuff that came out, they actually had a support card for set 10 starter deck Frieza. The uh, discard. Again, green deck. Um, I was trying to make it work. I had fun with it. Again, but it for me it's just not like take it to a tournament deck it's more like hey you guys want to get a free fun game in you know even though you know some people might say it's not the deck for that but with what dragon ball is doing i'm thinking it's kind of like being like hey we're just gonna put all the cards in that just killed unisons so I kind of feel like in time, no one's going to play Unisons a anymore. But the last three weeks, I've been going 2-1 with a deck. It's a red deck. Um, I've seen some deck profiles out there, but not as much for what the Sin and the Gogeta deck is. So the red deck that I've been doing pretty good at, the problem with me is when I get to that I'm at the front table, I'm playing to win locals, I'm playing to go 3-0. The problem with me is I get nervous, I get I get frustrated, I shake, my nerves are just getting the best of me, and I mess up. Um, one of the good... I played against Sin, or Gogeta, the... This last weekend on Saturday. And with that one. Um, I comboed up. I was My plan was to kill him. But he. Z awakened into Gogeta. To his 100k. I completely forgot what. He does. Because I've never had it played against me. Um, so. It was like kind of like my first time. Going up against the Z awaken part. And I scooped. And one of the guys that's like are known like 
best player of locals. He came up to me, you know, said, you did a good job. The only thing you should not have done is scooped. You had the game. And, yeah, that just... And I, I, I told the guy who I played against that it was just my, my nerves. And I just can't, it's, it's just like, it's once I get to that table, I can get to that table with a deck. But then once I get to that table, like I'm starting to play the game, I'm having fun. And then I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, yeah, this is it. And my nerves just get the best of me. And I just, you know, so, but let's uh i'm gonna do the profile and the profile that we're doing is pan i have been waiting for this leader to come out i was so happy when it came out uh, i was doing a lot of research and stuff and trying to find like ways to work it and i had it at a 53 list Every, a lot of people have told me like I'm crazy because the deck draws so many cards like you're, you're you're crazy to play it that low well out of the new set the out of the red uh, trio deck I put two cards out of the new set you'll see them in in the profile but let's uh get to this profile real quick and let's see what I got for pan all right guys so Let's go over Pan real quick. I'm sure everyone knows it. Um, so basically, if whatever you play out there, your first for every turn, uh, my turn and my opponent's turn, uh, you give it plus 5k. If it gets 20k or more, you draw a card. So basically, every, almost everything in the deck just replaces itself, except for energy. Then you go on the back side, get in the same stuff, but then the auto is that um when you attack with it you draw a card and the activate main is uh once per turn uh you can choose up to one of your red z battle cards energy costs of two and it gets 5k power for the turn so and if i'm thinking right there's only i think one or two in the z deck that does that <clears throat> but let's go over I like to call the Yu-Gi-Oh deck or the extra deck. So we got three of the defenders. Um, I got this one on Saturday from a trade. So I told the guy, I said, well, my OCD is going to get the best of me and I got to get the other two for it. But yeah, the activate main will work great, great with this. So you can give it the plus 5k off of the leader. And of course, you know, just play this and this is pretty much the bomb card of the whole deck the other bomb card that we have is three of the rush attack vegetas just really good basically you put this out there like once you get to six z you just play that out and then you have you pay two and two z and then you just go swing with this and then you go activate main, and now it's uh, double strike and barrier. So basically, when it's all said and done, uh, dual attack, double strike, barrier. Everyone plays it. And of course, for the for finishing out the Z deck is, I just run one. Um, there's times where it's nice to awaken myself, and then there's times where it's not. But... It's in there if I need it, but to be honest with you, I have never played this. Um, I've always played these guys. The Defenders and the Vegetas. Uh, let's start out the deck profile here. And we're going to start with the Unisons. Just the best one. I figure... When it comes to unisons, because of Black Smoke Dragon being out now, everyone is going to be playing three or higher because Black Smoke Dragon just can't touch it. So, uh, you got four of those guys. And then for the counterplays, of course, because we're running three costs, we're going to be running three, three Videls. So, just a good all-around counterplay kills two things. 
Then to get into the package here, we got four of the Sun Gokus. Uh, basically, I have two two energy. I play this for one, burst two, uh, swing it, and then on swing, first you're going to combo the one if you have a Saiyan in your graveyard. Then you're going to pay the one, untap it, so you're still swinging for your 15. Um, and if this was the first one, you're going to draw a card off your leader. So then it's basically a 20k uh, double, uh, dual attack. Then, this is usually turn 2 if I can help it, but sometimes it has to be turn 1. If I go first, I will play Pan. So basically it's a for sure, you're just going to draw off this card... And then you swing with it, and on auto of swing, if it has 20,000 or more, you look up the top five for a five cost, Saiyan or less, or a three cost, Unison. Unison is the baby, of course. This card was able to get my um, Goku five cost that got banned. So now I'm sad because I had the collector's edition. And now it's banned. So, yeah. But I was able to cut a card out of the deck. So I guess that's good, right? And then also you're running four of the apes. Um, basically, just if your opponent has two energy, you combo this and you just special summon it from your graveyard. And, of course, if you can do this on your opponent's turn or your turn, I usually try to do this on my opponent's turn. Uh, just because it's another combo piece. Even, even if I take the life, I'm still going to play this. And then I draw a card. And then to finish out some of the Saiyans. You got these. If you're going to play this deck, get this deck. Get this card. I swear, in red Saiyan <laughs> decks, I, th I feel like this is going to be a staple. So if you can get them, get them. If you already have them, great. Um, TCG player is a place that I go to to get all my cards. Basically, you get to three energy, you pay one, you bring it out. And if this is your first one for the turn, so you're going to draw, pay one to draw two cards. You're going to have a 15 or 20k double strike. And then you can just pay another one and you can minus uh, 20k to something. And you also get another 5k boost. For my super combos, we're going with the Raditz boys. I feel it's the best red super combos. Everything else that comes out, I just don't like. Out of the new set, we're playing these. Um, because the whole deck is... Granted, it doesn't have Deflect, but... Because the whole deck is Saiyans, it just goes really good with the deck. So, you know, something that you've already got as a 15k, you just pay one, put this on top of it, it's a 20k, you swing with it, and then you just go, oh, well, that thing that's underneath of it, I'm going to minus 30k your, your thing. Uh, it doesn't get around barrier, but... You're doing minus 30k to something, so you're bound to kill something. Then, for good combo stuff, uh, Divine Presence. It's still a really good card. I can't say anything about it. And this thing, if you're doing it off of the pan, you can easily get this thing up to like 35, 40k, just by itself. And then because we do a lot of er, uh, negging in the deck, we're also running Son Goku One Hit Wonder. Uh, anytime that you minus something, you just special summon it. It's going to be good. And then for more stuff, for more pressure, uh, deflect, double strike. Uh, you just pay three if you have three Saiyans in either energy or in play. So you're pretty much always going to have that by turn 3, turn 4. 
And then, of course, you make your opponent warp, warp a card from their hand, and you minus 30 to two things. Not around barrier, but you're going to basically kill two things. Uh, yes, I play it. Um, I just cast it out for one. It's sometimes good against blue, against yellow. If I'm going up against red or green, I'm pretty much just not... I'm going to side it out. Then, kind of a late game card. We got Pan, Wisher of Miracles. It's just a... You know, you can combo something out. You pay one. You play that out. You draw a card. Uh, and then if it's your first one for the turn, you draw another card. So it's a draw two card, and then, of course, at the end of the battle, you can neg ten to something. So you're probably not going to kill something with it, but depending on who you're playing against, you probably will. And then these are our kill barrier guys. Um, you're not going to do the main part of it, but it is deflect barrier, so you know it's coming out. And you can ignore barrier and give something minus 30. So you're going to kill something for sure. For our counterattacks, we have After Image Technique, just really good. Three, Testing the Oppositions, just really good. Um, might be a little bit too much to people, but I play three Topos. And then I also play two King Vegeta Imposing Presence. Um... Yeah, pretty much stop attack, stop attack, stop another attack, pretty much stop their turn, and then just, you know, have them do stuff to their things to make them not attack, or make sure that they can't go through. When it comes to my one-ofs, we're going with probably an old school one, but Vegeta Real Evolution. So, yeah, um, you just combo with it, and then you pay one red, and you can just untap your leader and get another swing seems good uh other one of the trio you just if you're at turn three depending on what you have in hand you're going to play out your unison wait until turn four you put this underneath there you play it out for three and it's just another take care of the board kind of thing um yeah and if it's the first one you play it's uh uh, I gotta look at the ruling, but I think it's anything that you play, so I think it would trigger Pan, so it's just gonna replace the card. Then we have, of course, Champa, just really good red staple, and for my Overrealms, run the Dark Brawly. So 30k, give it double strike, so you got 40k double. And of course, um, for the Secret, Vegito, this has won me games. I cannot tell you how happy I am for playing that card. Um, yeah, just really good. So, um, I know everyone's locals is different on what they want to run for sideboard, but I figured I'll just go over what my sideboard is real quick. Um, for blue, we're running the Kai's and the Raditz. Um, they're just really good against blue. Uh, the new Gohan. Don't put them in. Do not put these in against Gohan. They do nothing for you. They're just a one, one cost draw card. They do not trigger with Pan because they're only 4Ks. So you're not drawing two cards. You're only drawing one. Don't play those against Gohan. It does nothing because Gohan runs no counterattacks. Uh, of course, if you know the meta, you're going to play the Broken Seal. And then for counterattacks or just remove something, max powers. Uh, and then, of course, for another counterattack, we're running Wolf Fang Fist. Let me fix this up here real quick. So in case you guys are taking images of stuff. <clears throat> Wolf Fang Fist. And then to kind of like make sure you kill or make sure that if they want to 
negate you, you're gonna run Kletsukai. And then for blue, uh Violent Rays. It uh Violent Rays was good. I mean it's still good, but not as good as what it used to be, but pretty much now it just stops big beefy blue cards. Or just stops your monster cards that your opponents is playing, but yeah, for the most part, you're not going to discard a card. Most times, you're just going to be like, counter the attack, negate the attack for one. Then, of course, if you uh, think your opponent's going to have it, King Vegeta, Hidden Ambitions. So, that's what I run for the sideboard, Z deck, and everything else. Um, I like this deck a lot. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, like I said, I go 2-1 with it all the time, and yeah, it's just my nerves that get the best of me, but I'm trying to learn how to correct that, but yeah, guys, that's the, that's the deck, um, no, it was a long video, sorry about that, but hey, um, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, helps me out a great bit, and... I guess let me know what else you want. Um, I am getting into Flesh and Blood. I do play Magic. I'm getting into Hordes, War Machine. And I just got into D&D. &D. So, yeah. There's all the things that I'm into, that I'm doing. Um, yeah, you can see my table is filled with all kinds of crap. So, um, but yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.